one of the best things about the zombie series is the character interactions. Meeting new people, learning what they're good at, you know, and usually teaming up, but sometimes fighting against each other. Because zombies, again, are not the main antagonists in these shows. They're just merely accessories. It's the human-on-human -human infighting that's really cool, right? So, not really cool, but that's the main, like, tr like the, the problem arises from that. That new girl we met, she's the polar opposite of Tendo. She's so fucking serious. But they're kind of polar extremes because she couldn't even indulge in the fucking Sakura Mochi because why? Well, you know, we got to limit the sugar. We got to be in peak performance. And I get it. There is some sides of that that Tendo should learn. But vice versa. I think she should learn to relax a bit because, you know, it's the fucking apocalypse. You can do all this shit, but then you just die. And then what? You might as well enjoy yourself to a degree, right? I guess we're going to meet the other characters and team up more. Let's begin today's reaction, though. <laughs> Who are these dudes? <laughs> Club Showtime. Oh, this is like a Japanese host bar, right? M like male escorts, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usually, if you make a promise like that, that's just you're tripping flags. Like that's not gonna happen. Baseball bat. Molotovs. Hey, I thought this is just a regular cozy host bar, but this is a gang. <laughs> Did you see the glasses guy there? I love the pose. What the fuck is... Oh, it, no, it is zombie time. Okay, okay. I thought we were looking into the past. Oh. Club time. All right, all right. The glasses guy, dude. Yo, we need some ranged weapons. We can't be fighting zombies with melee like that. The blood splatters... I actually don't know how it transfers. If the blood splatters and got in your eyes or whatnot, would it transfer? Don't know. But our boy Tendo got a motorcycle now. Yo, he's gotten pretty damn good at riding it. I mean, he was doing wheelies the first episode he got it, so it's like, whatever. Tendo? <laughs> hmm. I haven't shaved in a couple days. My <laughs> I can't really grow facial hair, though. <laughs> I thought telecommunications and all that stuff was down, but the internet is back up. That's, a, that's like a huge buff. Like, it's usually a zombie series. You don't have electricity. You don't have internet. You know, you gotta get, like, self-sustaining energy, but... Okay. Probably one of the guys from the host bar, right? Kencho. I don't think he's Sho, but... One of the guys that works there? We gotta get in contact. Oh, they play rugby together, maybe. We gotta go to club show, yeah. This guy. This guy must be him. Uh oh. Are you good? Oh shit, this place got run down. Yo, why does that one fat guy have a skirt on? Did you see that? <laughs> wait, wait. Um, alright, I, I guess this place just went down. Shit, we had all those Molotovs and stuff. What, is Sho still alive? Because remember, he told the girl, I promise I'll be back. I told you you shouldn't fucking trip flags like that. Is she a previous client that's locked up right now? Let's see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she likes to have the ball gag. <laughs> the fucking ball <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Huh. I wonder how good friends they were. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking farted laughing! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, he still hasn't left yet, right, right, obviously, he doesn't know. Well, I'm about to die, bro. I'm stuck in a bondage room for three days. What, can you help us? Cuz no work! This is true freedom! In a bondage room. Stuck. <laughs> Alright. Oh, someone escaped. Oh, someone escaped. Ah, okay. Yeah, so quick. <laughs> he's naked there. He's still naked there. Yo, he's naked everywhere. <laughs> Closest friends. Okay. Oh, real estate agent, but. Why is he working in a... Maybe he doesn't work here. Maybe he just happened to, you know, 
be here because this place seems to be like a, a safe haven, right? Damn, he's flexing hard. Isn't that the girl that was crying at the beginning scene? Yeah, he's fucking living it up and we're fucking just plugging away in our wage slavery. It's, yeah, it, it doesn't really feel good. You should be happy for your friends like that, but you can't help but compare yourself, right? And quite often, he's just, I don't know. He, he's right. He's absolutely right. You should just quit. But easier said than done. Yo, get us in the real estate business. Come on. It's not that simple, though. He is right. I he's gonna take it the wrong way though. And like he is kind of bragging, but at the same time, you should be happy for your friend's success. But when your life is that shitty, you can't help but compare yourself like that, right? They got some making up to do. Show! It's your last stand. He's not gonna die, right? Oh shit, all his boys turned into the glasses too. Tendo will arrive just at the right time, right? Come on, don't give up now, manager. Don't give up now, manager! Yeah, that promise was such a death lag, bro. The sound. There's a horn. That's not the motorcycle, is it? I don't know, but this is like divine retribution. You, you just got saved, but... What is that noise? This must be Tendo's plan? Yo, that guy's still wearing a skirt! You see that shit, guys? Because they're very susceptible to noise. So they'll all walk out towards the source of the noise. Right, the car. And now... Rugby. Did we have to sacrifice the rugby? Well, what? Oh, Alright, whatever. Yes. Now, get in and get out. Yep. Mm -hmm. What was that? Why did the door just close? Oh, it's just Tendo behind you. It's fine, it's fine. Watch him punch him. Can't ah! <laughs> oh, you didn't punch him. Okay. Hey, buddy. Remember me? Back in the old college days, rugby, yeah? Let's get the fuck out of here. He really is tall. Like, he's built. I'm sorry? Maybe he feels bad for lashing out on him. Just glad you're alive? What? Yeah, you should have quit, bro! They were exploiting you! <laughs> yeah, you got jealous. It's human nature. It's really hard to... You should be happy for your friend's success, but you're always going to feel also jealous by comparing yourself. It's just human nature. As long as you can be self-aware of that and kind of keep the jealousy side down, I think that's the best way to balance it. Yeah, we got to get going, though. There's, there's, there's no time for a little reunion like this. Guys, let's get the fuck out of here. To apologize? Yes? Maybe. <laughs> it's better than texting or calling you with that. Come on. I'm sorry too? <laughs> yeah, guys, we need to get the fuck out! <laughs> we wasted all that time! <laughs> yeah, and he shouted too! <laughs> to the rooftop? What are we gonna do, fucking parkour? Y'all need to parkour right now! <laughs> he is so... Like, in despair, doesn't know what to do. But Tendo knows what to do, right? Oh, he's relying on him. The roles have kind of switched, huh? Before, he seemed like the hotshot. But now, Tendo's like the leader. Yeah, we parkour right now, bro. <laughs> We're actually gonna parkour? That's not, uh, this is anime, but... Like, I don't think they have that kind of physical power. Well, no. He, ha he, he tackled the shit out of that. We'll just fight the fight jumping? I mean, he'll make it fine. He's the main character. But how far is this distance? This looks pretty fucking far. 
Hey, <laughs> I'm what? I... Look at that distance, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Look at him. He's bleeding too much. We don't really have a chance. Look at this. How? How the fuck is it gonna work? Bro. They, you could argue, you know, all that training, the lower body training with rugby helped them out. I don't think physics works like that, but I shouldn't be reasoning physics in the fucking anime. <laughs> Alright, come on, bro. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, man. This is crazy, bro. I don't got the main character plot armor, bro. It is so weird seeing him with such self-doubt. And like... Just, just based on how they were acting back in the past, right? Because he was like doing so well and now it's kind of like reversed. Uh. Yeah, everybody wants to really make their, make their make their lives seem a lot more glamorous, right? You want to exaggerate it and make a sound you're living with a, a dream. Bro, you should have quit too. <laughs> All right, bro, we get it. You were fucking all the hottest models eating at the best restaurants. We get it. We get it. Stop flexing. Back in the college days, that's when you were the most happiest, right? Damn. This is getting so real. All right, but you need to jump now, bro. This isn't like a final sorry to say like uh, goodbye, right? Come on, get the fuck. Come on, let's go. Hmm. You want to be a comedian? Oh, no shot. Really? <laughs> Do it. Fuck it. Why not? I don't know. Well, I'm sure we can meet other survivors and you can crack some jokes and we can still be a comedian. Yeah, bro, just quit. I mean, he did quit. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, bro, we actually have to parkour right now, though. I love how he's still bleeding from his head from the jump. <laughs> if you're a stand-up comic, then show me that you can jump this distance. All right, whatever, let's go. Come on, bro, you got that rugby practice, right? That uh, distance is fucking insane. Imagine he doesn't make any, he just fucking dies. <laughs> oh my god. Why is he naked? <laughs> Dude, he did a 360. <laughs> this is part of your comedic bit. <laughs> Bro was like, there's no way I can make that jump. And okay, oh shit, where's the momentum though? No, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He good. But bro was like, I can't make that distance, are you kidding me? Fucking strips midair does a 360. <laughs> bro. Bro, gotta save him, man. No! He'll grab him. Tendo will grab him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy that Tendo can just hold on to him with one hand like this. Like, he was so much bigger. You saw how big he was, right? Tendo's... <laughs> just see his bare ass. <laughs> I love how it's even his ass is tanned. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I expect this to kind of like boxer tan or something. No, here comes a joke. Your dick. <laughs> I don't think that's part of the joke, but that's the funniest part so far. Hey, do you think that blonde guy, the show the manager survived? Because at the end there, the zombies were all going to the car with the noise. He didn't get bit. Wonder what's gonna happen to him. Maybe we'll see him in the future. Kencho, stand up. He's an actual stand up comic, but he's just a stand up good guy. He's funny. And this entire thing is about being naked, so I'm sure all the girl audience is gonna love this shit. And the guys, some of the guys. Um, what are we gonna do from here on out? We got a team that's kind of funny. We have Kencho now. We have the girl from the previous episode. And I'm sure we're just gonna keep making more people and then make a team and eventually find out the source of the problem, because so far, Kencho literally said you're gonna, you know, solve the zombie infection, but we're not really going towards that. We're just kind of living life amongst the zombies, you know, and trying to figure shit out. Eventually, some kind of actual plot has to form as to why these zombies are, you know, happened, the outbreak. How the zombie virus even gets, like, spread, right? It's very important shit that we gotta figure out, but I'm sure we'll 
we'll get to that part later. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.